but there's something awesome that just came up here. Uh, basically, uh, so I was talking with uh, uh, with the guy that does the uh, good bit of the Fire Emblem randomizers, like the Universal randomizer and stuff like that. And he pointed out that uh, yeah, Knight of Lotus has like some old modules that somebody had put together a while ago. Uh, hopefully the, the music isn't too loud here. So basically what this means is that the game is actually moddable, um, and in fact has what can essentially be seen as modding tools, uh, kind of over here on the right side. So yeah, you may notice chat is in a little bit of a weird place today, but that's only because this is going to be a short one. Odds are no one's even going to show up right now, but I just want to get this information out there. So what we have here, uh, there's uh, five different modules that they've created. Uh, there's a guy by the name of Eldritch Abomination. Uh, looks like he had come up with this uh, back in 2017. Uh, basically, what you need, and I'll include uh, links to this, you know, where it is, um, you need your, your usual Knight of Lotus ROM, so however you get that, I uh, can't put a link to that. Um, you need Nightmare, uh, which is this thing right here. It's just basically a program that, for all intents and purposes, you're still doing hex editing, but uh, what you have is, uh, is, uh, is a way that lets you do it easily. So, for example, instead of, uh, like, like apparently the way the Rakes does it is, like, keep a spreadsheet of what does what exactly and mess with all the numbers individually, Instead, you know, you have all of this, like, let's say we go over here to the class editor, and these would be, like, your default classes. So, like, let's say, you know, you wanted them to look different, or you wanted them to act different, you wanted to give them abilities, you wanted to change the way that they rank up, and, you know, the different stats they get on level up and all that kind of thing. Um, so what I wanted to explain here is just kind of, the, like, a brief overview of how it all works, exactly. So first things first. Um, the class editor is only for editing your own team. Uh, so this is for editing any classes that you can actually use. Um, so basically, here, let's uh, let's go over to the class editor here. It's so like, let's say it's right here, you know, basic soldier here. Um, if we go down to, for example, the female soldier, it will reference the male soldier uh, for its uh, stats and things like that. Uh, it was somewhere on here. Uh, somewhere down here, I believe. I don't know. It's, it's a bit of a complicated thing, I'll be honest. I'm a little bit, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. But uh, basically, it's, it references the other... Uh, yeah, here we go. Class reference, Soldier M. So it'll be referencing the stats for that one. That's why a lot of the stats here are blank. But if you wanted to override that and give them anything unique, you can go ahead and do so. Um, if, you, uh, if you go up here to, let's say... Eh, let's see, what do we want to mess with here? Like, just about anything will potentially work. Like, you can even attach abilities that would otherwise be impossible to weapons and equipment and stuff like that. Uh, the only thing that doesn't, that actually does appear to crash the game is if you attach, um, like, let's say you take the Firestorm effect and attach it to, like, a, a lightning move or something like that. It, it, it's mentioned in the notes uh, that come with the modules, um, but uh, basically that'll just completely screw things up. Now, as far as uh, weapons and items and stuff like that, again, like, what you, what you have here, uh, the description is not really something you'll be able to mess with using this module, so that'll pretty much stay the same. If you wanted to add a secondary description, you could do that. Um, I don't really know what any of these do specifically. Presumably, description two is going to be like the, the part where it says um, like what its attributes are, because I've noticed that part does not update. You get different kinds of animations that you can use here. It's like let's say we take the short sword, we'll make it use the spear animation. Uh, let's say we'll give it three range. Why not? We'll see if this crashes something. Uh, weight zero. It's just it's weightless now. Uh, physical power, 77, sure. Uh, magical power, 1. Just mess with everything. Uh, weapon ability, let's say... Uh, interestingly enough, these, uh, these abilities will still require the MP or SP um, that they would normally require. So let's say it'll have Molten Blade on there for some reason. Let's see, bonus effects... Uh, let's give it an instant death protection, but the chance of instant death. Actually, that seems stupid because they'll all be using short swords. Don't know what answer is exactly, but there we go. It's on there. Uh, strength bonus, 80. Sure. This, this seems like a perfectly balanced weapon with no trouble whatsoever. So now we go ahead and save it. Supply those changes. Go ahead and save it. Uh, this is going to be mod 1. So if I go over here to this one, let's uh, go ahead and open up mod 1. Actually, we're going to go ahead and close out of this. Uh, when you're updating your changes, uh, if you're using VBA to test how your changes worked, Make sure to restart your emulator uh, because it seems to still keep the old uh, old effects when you um, uh, when you pull it back up. So there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, pull up mod one here. Just pull up that uh, first starter fight here. I don't know if I have any fast forward options set up here. Let's see. 
input configure where is my fast forward speed up what uh, spacebar nifty okay it does work so go ahead and start it here except my controls are all weird because I have it set up weird here there we go use a bunch of buttons that make no sense with the context for some reason l1 is start not sure why whatever let's go with everything as is go for the standard options here and we'll just go ahead and skip through the intro uh, in case you're wondering safe states will cause uh, it will cause the same issues that they usually do on any kind of modding so safe states will still keep the old version um, so yeah don't use them for testing uh, what else uh, it seems like you can affect everything in the game um, in terms of like movement power attributes whatever all of it's in there. Uh, there's no story events that I've been able to find on there. Let's, you know, skip through all this. Uh, oh, you know what I probably should have messed with? Oh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're going to restart this process here. No, no, no. Exit that. We are going to turn Alphonse into a mermaid again. Because, yeah, interestingly enough, even in the cutscenes, they'll actually, they'll actually change stuff. Let's go to character editor. So if you want to change a specific character, uh, what you do is you go over here. Unfortunately, some stuff seems to have loaded wrong, so Alphonse will be your standard one. So, Sprite Palette, let's go ahead and uh, put him for Palette 1. <coughs> ah. Ah, I managed to pick up a bit of cold. So, Associated Class, this is going to be the class that they start with. So, let's go ahead and start him as a Lich. Sure. Just to see if we can break this here. Um, yeah. So, Enemy Sprite Palette, this will just be when they switch over to the other palette. So, this will just give them different hair colors and that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> okay, so that looks all well and good. Now, okay, so we can go ahead and save that there. However, this will just change what their class actually is. Interestingly enough, for your unique characters, if you change what their class is, uh, they will still retain that class while being a person. Um, so if they don't have an actual sprite change, they will just remain as that thing. Uh, so let's go to Formation Editor. Uh, why is not coming up with the right one? Formation editor, please. So there we go. Here's Mr. Alphonse. He's going to be coming in with some different stuff this time. So let's say, go ahead and start him in the Eurasian. Uh, give him a short sword over here. Wherever that happens to be. Hang on. Can I not give him two swords? Interesting. Okay, so apparently it's limited in terms of what you can actually give him. Um, as far as your starter weapons go. Oh, no, 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 it isn't, actually. Never mind, ignore that, ignore that. Here. You just do this. Uh, you just use your mouse keys. For some reason, there's no scroll on there. So there we go. We'll give him that short sword right there. And let's see here. Go ahead and give him a Sherwood hat. Give him the, the full Sherwood set, I think. Or actually, I can't do that, can I? No, not really. Now that I'm messing some stuff up. So let's go ahead and give him this cursed garment here, since he's a lich after all, and let's give him gnome. Why not? This seems like a perfectly reasonable start to the game. And there we go. We'll go ahead and save it. Apply it, save it, and let's see if it actually stuck. Uh, in a few cases, I've, I saw where it didn't exactly uh, carry everything over properly, but, you know, just play around with it. I know sometimes uh, stuff won't exactly work like you expect it to. Let's go here, let's pull up uh, da, 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 mod 1. So what I was planning to do is actually just put out a kind of generalized rebalance type of thing. Like, I, I don't know exactly how we'd save it, I don't know how you save patch files or any of that. Um, but I, what I wanted to do uh, was uh, put out a sort of a general rebalance. Just to, you know, common sense kind of stuff. And then uh, after that, uh, it would be really interesting to, uh, to see what kind of stuff the community can come up with. Cause like this seems like the kind of thing that people have had ideas about for the longest time. Like already, I'm I'm thinking three different mods. Like a the rebalance uh, thing, b the uh, just a fairy mode. So by the way, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to go ahead and change all of your enemies or whatever else, uh, we can actually go through that on the uh, editor here as well. Just bear in mind again, editing the class we will not edit those units. So what you do, you go to the formation editor, and then each of these characters. Each individual character is individually placed in the game. So unfortunately, Evan, yes, it's still the same thing uh, where every character is in there. Uh, so they all come in with uh, specific equipment. They're, you know, they've all got exact stuff there. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how all that goes. 
but you can change everything about them. You can change their level, you can change uh, the scaling if you want that kind of thing. Uh, like for example, there's the option to change uh, uh, change enemy scaling all the way up to chapter four. So if you wanted to have permanent scaling, it would be on there. There we go. He's already looking different. Could have changed his sprite to something else, but we'll just leave him as that for now. Generally speaking, when it comes to your main character, you want to try to give them their uh, the sprite that they've always run with. Just because you do get those situations every now and then where they just don't have an animation for something and it crashes. Um, I haven't seen any of that yet. It seems like there's animations for every character for some reason. Um, except for Duke Knights. Uh, those ones do seem to break. But, um, but yeah, it, it's been surprisingly stable so far. So we'll go ahead and do a hard save after this and then just kind of show the, uh, the extent of stuff you can mess with. So yeah, palettes don't have any effect. If you're wondering what the different palettes are, um, you, you can actually change their portrait to match their uh, palette as well. So right now he just looks like a, a very JRPG character. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so they're already doing 90 because those short swords are ridiculously good. Man, my controls are jacked. Alright. So yeah, you can see Strength 107 right from the very start, because that 80 bonus. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and uh, suspend it here, because I want to see if this will potentially potentially mess with anything. So we'll go ahead and put that aside for the moment. Put that down. Now let's see if we can mess with uh, Mr. Alphonse a little bit farther. Let's go all the way back to the top. Now, we want to give him a bit of a different look, I think. So right now, this this probably won't be the one to go through. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing to mess with here exactly. I meant to have him come in as a lich, but that's my bad. The level scaling, let's say chapter 4, short. So he counts as the leader. You can potentially make it so that he doesn't end the game if he ends up dying, which is kind of weird. I, I kind of wonder what would happen if that would happen. Hmm, I'm going to have to remember that for the future. Now it comes up with a little asterisk up here when you've applied the changes but you haven't saved them, in case you're wondering what that's about. Let's go over to the character editor again. No, I'm not sure why the character editor, editor pulled up twice there. So sprite palettes, yeah, we'll go ahead and I'll leave that as one. Yeah, portrait one, we'll go ahead and switch as that. Now you can switch their palette over to whatever whatever you want here. So let's say, let's switch them over to Saya's palette. Uh, for his secondary one, now, some of them got, have secondary palettes that just kind of overlay on top of it. I'm not sure why exactly, but uh, that, that's also explained in the notes. So let's uh, go ahead and apply those and save them. Now, if we go over here, the class editor, we should be able to mess with him somewhere. I, I remember you were able to... to ch I, I turned him into a mermaid somehow. And that, this is why I was saying that it's it's a little bit unclear what I'm doing here. Um, okay, let's see. I didn't see if it actually used the uh, the lance animation also when it was attacking. It might not be able to do so now that I think about it. Anyway, let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. This is just the weapon editor. Let's go over to, to the formation editor. All right, so he's a lich. Go ahead and switch him over to something else. Uh, like, let's say... Mm, why, why am I messing with this exactly? Character editor, sprite. That's what I should be doing. Yeah, the first character editor, just ignore it. Here we go, character editor. Here we go, character sprite. See? Here we go. This is how uh, how you don't act like an idiot. So let's change him into Clawary and see what happens. It should be all kinds of crazy looking. Apply changes, save ROM, and there we go. Now that he's become a vacuous spider, let's go ahead and move forward here. Ah, man, not feeling good today. Not sure what kind of bizarre cold I picked up, but man, feels crappy. Alright, so let's go ahead to mod one here. Not that kind of business. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so, there we go. So now he's Cloary. <laughs> so you can change him into anything. This is the fantastic part. So let's go ahead and move over here. Again, dealing with my bizarre buttons here. Yeah, I don't think I've ever even gotten the answer in the main game, now that I think about it. Alright, 
We're going to hold off on swinging that in for just a sec here, because I want to see... Uh, yeah, right here. So you can see uh, 20, uh, 20 MP is required. It still requires all that usual stuff. Now, you can actually change what emblems you have there as well, I believe. And we came out with Miracle here, and we have Gnome. So as you can see, you can mess with everything. Like, no matter what you do, it's all here. So let's see, if we... Uh, 51 there. Interestingly enough, your strength is, uh, does not necessarily scale up as much as it would in other games. Okay, so she does not have an attack animation, it seems. Good to know. So some of them probably will have that issue. So let's go ahead and switch him over to... Now let's have him be the shopkeeper. There we go. Go ahead and exit out of that. So yeah, anyone that had no, no, uh, no reason to have an attack animation probably won't have one. It probably will crash if somebody doesn't have a particular animation on hand, uh, and or just soft lock like it did right there, because it doesn't know what to do. Because it just turns around like my whole purpose is to stand here as a statue during a cutscene, and it's just like stuck. So yeah, there will be limitations, as there always are. All right, interesting. Is this exactly? So it seems like the shopkeeper doesn't actually even have a front <laughs> front part of their body. Okay, they also do not have an attack animation. <laughs> Should have figured, but it was worth testing. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and switch you. Da -da -da. What happens if I turn him into Share? There we go. Is he gonna have any type of animation for that? There we are. Let's pull that up. Forgot to check what their portrait actually looks like. Yeah, bear in mind there will be some definite jank when it comes to these portraits here, which is uh, whenever that randomizer happens, I'm really, really excited to see what kinds of stuff will happen. It's like, if you've never played a Fire Emblem randomizer, just like the bizarre jank that comes out of, uh, uh, off of putting different, uh, different, like, color palettes from other characters onto models that were never supposed to have them is amazing. Like right now, during uh, one of the um, one of the community runs uh, that we're doing of uh, FE8, we basically have a knight that looks like he's covered in bacon. It's amazing. Alright, so we have um, apparently going through a phase Shahar here. Alright, do you have an attack animation is the question. I mean, you should. It has no weapon animation. Oh, no, they, they always look like they're using the Ambition. Gotcha. Fair enough, fair enough. So yeah, they're not using the Lance animation, and he looks like a dang zombie. So if we wanted to go ahead and change this fight around a little bit, we can go ahead and do that as well. So let's go over here, let's go to that Formation Editor. And like I said, they're all just in one place here, so let's see, 0.1 is going to be some rando soldier here, rando female soldier, female ninja... Now, wizard, like, you basically just have to manually go through all these and figure them out. So these are more than likely going to be the starting uh, starting characters, if I were to guess. Let's see, standard female cleric comes with a heal and basic equipment. That sounds like the, the starter healer. And here we go, Stan over at OB. So he's a bandit. Let's go ahead and switch him over to a predator. There we go. I have him come in... Let's see, let's give him... Let's give him the procs. Let's give him a bit of an upgrade here. And do we have, like, full ogre or something like that for him? Oh no, he's just here in a dress, sure. So he's here with a, a fire axe, a dress, uh, let's, uh... Hmm. Matsukaze somehow. <laughs> I don't know how he's wielding all this, but whatever. And then he's just got a third sword, sure. Why not? Let's see if it crashes from giving somebody way too many weapons. So he complains that he failed, but that's only one way that this could have happened. Let's go check in on an alternate universe where he's suddenly really overpowered. Seems like a great idea. Alright, open it up. Let's pull this up, and let's see what happens! Fast forward a little bit. Alright. He 
He's still coming in as a bandit. It didn't apply properly. Right, so let's go ahead and save it again. Apply changes. Save ROM. Kind of wondering if it's maybe not changing because it can't. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe he can't load in as a predator? Or it could be that enemies are already loaded. So let's say Eleanor. Let's say he's uh, he's Eleanor and he's uh, just meeting Alphonse on the beach here. This is like the, the bizarre sequel that nobody asked for. It's like Eleanor's coming in like, oh, you let me die. I'm sorry, I was going for the A-plus ending. I'm a terrible person. All right. Yeah, he does not appear to be updating. Weirdly enough. So yeah, it, it's very possible that their data loads at the start of the fight. So best way to deal with all that then is to just go ahead and start up from a fresh save. So yes, we're going through that intro again. I apologize. Uh, but I want to see if this works properly. But yeah, so I, I can't wait to see what kind of stuff people come up with. Like when when I found out about this, I thought I thought he was joking. Like I, I legit could not possibly believe. Oh yes, <laughs> he's just wandering through with uh, with your hair there. The, the entire story started way earlier than anyone expected. But yeah, I didn't expect this to work. I thought it was just like a list of codes because I opened it opened it up. I'm like I don't. What is a nightmare? I don't know. What what is nightmare nom modules? Is it just a joke that? Uh, you know, that all this stuff looks like a bizarre test text nightmare? I'm like, oh. It's a modding thing, Rakes mentions. So I go and take a look at it. And it is a modding thing, and it's amazing. And it actually comes with a bunch of stuff, including Ogre Battle, interestingly enough. And yeah, so it seems like as long as they have an attack animation of some kind, they will default to whatever animation they would normally use. But if they have an animation of a particular type, they'll try to use it. So I guess that makes it a little bit more friendly. <laughs> skip through this intro forever. Unfortunately, this doesn't come with the ability to skip all these cutscenes. One day, maybe. One can only hope. Like I'm, I'm hoping when he comes up, when uh, you know he gets uh, it's a free minute to to try the randomizer thing. I'm hoping cutscene skip is somehow possible. Um. Why are we focusing on this mast forever? I think the game doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. It's very possible that it doesn't have the uh, head looking up animation uh, for, uh, for Alphonse here. Alright, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Good to know, good to know. So let's go ahead and just reset that real quick. There's that reset. Let's go get past that intro, finally. And let's see if we maybe mess with one of the other characters, if we'll uh, do a little bit better. So, let's, so if you're doing the formation editor, you can just kind of skip straight to particular characters here. So let's say uh, Mullen here. Yeah, let's go ahead and put all those same changes to her. There we go, save the ROM. See if uh, she loads in properly. Because, yeah, it, it's one of those cases where you kind of have to know what's happening where and when to understand why it's possibly breaking. Like I said, in this case, there's a, there's a little animation once uh, when Alphonse, like first gets on the boat. He's just there, like, doing this kind of thing. He's like, oh man, this rain sucks. So while he's going ahead and doing that thing, the game just doesn't know what to do. Alright, so the answer, give the default animation. Will this do it as well? Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and skip through all this. And it doesn't seem like Stan's going to make it past his first turn. Yeah, the rubber banding in this game is amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just like when it when it comes to, to this game with um, with regard to uh, what's it with regard to the way that the stats work and everything, there does seem to be like a locked in cap of some description. Ah, oh, Shahir doesn't have a getting shot by crossbow animation. All right, let's see what happens here. Uh, all right, let's change you to something else here. Like let's say. Hmm. What do we want to do with you? <laughs> Alright, 
Let's see. Let's see if one of the generic characters here might have something. Oh, we might not be able to change Alphonse. Okay, let's change him to an archer. See if that'll do the job. There we go. Save the ROM. Restart it real quick. But yeah, general, as far as the rebalance goes, that is 100% possible. As far as uh, changing, um, you know, just kind of creating your own little version of the game, 100% possible. It's when it comes to editing some of the sprites uh, into places like, like you're seeing right here, uh, into places where they shouldn't be. Um, like, as long as there isn't an animation that is unable to play, it's completely fine. So, you know, let's go ahead and wrap this fight up again. So we'll just go ahead and uh, leave him right here, doing nothing. Now, as far as starting emblems go, I haven't, I, I didn't see anything in there that would give the option of changing those. So hopefully that's something that'll come up down the line. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that uh, when the randomizer comes around, maybe that's one of the things that'll be possible. It's like maybe changing the requirements on the emblems. All right, let's see, can he get shot? No, he can't get shot. Okay, so let's switch it back to Alphonse then. Fine. Don't let me mess with it. Jeez. Yeah, more than likely what's going to end up uh, deciding this down the road is it's... I would think... Alphonse and Eleanor are probably the only ones that have, like, exactly unique animations in a lot of cases. Like in this case, where he's supposed to get uh, shot and go flying off a thing, like he's supposed to run up, smack him out of the way, and then he's supposed to get shot and fly off the cliff. So I'm assuming that's a good bit of new animations. Uh, same thing when he falls off a cliff later, he and Eleanor have to do that. Um, when he's pointing up at the sky during the intro cutscene, there's also one. Uh, there's one, when it comes to messing with um, Mikhail, uh, he's the, the lich. Uh, he's the lich boss at the very start of the last uh, gauntlet. Uh, he's got that um, carpet animation. Oh man, I wonder if I can make that carpet animation happen. Man, I, I have to do it. That'd be so cool if it could. Like, if it was possible to make liches just move around like he does, it's probably just a one-time animation, but man, I hope... I hope they have it as a movement type somewhere. That'd be so good. Oof. Ah, gee, he hits like a dang semi. Alright, let's see what happens. Come on, you gonna get shot? Huh, interestingly enough, it was the turn animation. The head turn animation. That's what was missing. Okay. I should totally catalog these. Because I have a feeling that might be useful for the randomizer folks. Or the guy doing the randomizer. I don't know, maybe. I was planning to put together some notes uh, as far as all this went anyway. Um, since, uh... Yeah, he, he looks real jacked up. Looking all sickly. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and change Ivana into a dragon or something along those lines. Gonna see how that goes. Da -da 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 -da. Or my absolute favorite one, changing uh, changing a boss into a Duke Knight Fairy. Alright, let's go ahead and do a hard save here. And uh, by the way, every time that you do a different version of the mod, uh, just make sure, like if you're saving them under different names and all that, uh, if you're wondering where your saves went, it's probably just because uh, they were... Uh, uh, they're using the name of one of the other ROMs here. Just, uh, weirdly enough, gets overlooked. Just, uh, something to bear in mind. So let's go ahead and change... Where's Ivana here? Hello, Ivana. Associated class. How about you are a... Na let's see. You're a Thunder Dragon. Yeah, Thunder Dragon sounds good. Character Sprite. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave it as Ivana here, but switch her to Palette 4. Uh, so Palette 1 and 3 seem very similar. Uh, Palette... Like, it depends on who it is. Like, for Palette 3, for, um... What, for, for Alphonse, turns him green. But, like, for basic soldiers, like, for example, like, the basic soldier ones, like, you got, like, a dark navy blue for 1. You got red for 2, you got, like, a very light blue for 3, and then you have, like, a yellowish for 4. 
<coughs> Sorry, I keep trying not to cough here. All right. Hmm. Let's give her Euphrey's palette. Just kind of see how this chaos turns out. There we go. We did our save. We'll go ahead and restart it again. So yeah, I think this will be fun. There's there's a lot of options, and I'm sure there's a lot of hard modes people have been wanting to implement in this game. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that people have been wanting to do. Like, these are just limited tools, admittedly, but this is more than... Hell, this is more than I've known about for years, so... You know, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's excited as all hell about this. There we go, we'll go ahead and... Th there's no need to save there, that was just an accident. Like I said, jacked up controls because I have, like, all the directions on an analog stick. I've got start on L1 for some reason. There goes. She's coming in as green. I like some bizarre medieval green braids over here. All right. Who's there? Um, somebody who didn't update apparently. All right, we're gonna have to update that a little bit. Also, I can't help but notice that this version of Ivana looks a little bit happier for some reason. Element, what's that? Alright, so her end thing is kind of jacked up, I'm assuming because she's a dragon. Because it's exp like, if I were to guess, it's probably because they assume that the end box has to be a little bit longer. And so for her, it's overlapping. But she loses all of her equipment there. Did anything update for Mullen here? No. Alright, let's go ahead and edit that a little bit. Because Cressida, there wasn't any issues with messing with her. So let's edit this a little bit. Like, let's say... <laughs> Alright, associated class, let's go ahead and make her into a sword master. Kinda wonder what'll happen if we do that. Let's see, character sprite, let's turn her into a dark angel. Sprite palette, uh, if you're wondering what these grays are, it's just the same one as 1 through 4, but grayed out. So let's switch her over to 2, and let's give her Royal Ivana as her kind of color overlay. There we go, apply and save. Now, even though the options are a little bit redundant for those, you do see stuff that uh, that will, for example, work in one case and not another. Just bear that in mind. I'm apparently editing the wrong thing here. Sorry, it'll just be a moment. There we go, let's put this up. Let's go ahead and pull these modules up. <laughs> and yeah, there's an there's an option for editing abilities and stuff like that too. It's it's really cool. It's really really cool. But yeah, there, there's five in total. I think I mentioned that earlier, but just in case. Uh, so I'll probably be wrapping this up pretty soon here. Like I said, feeling a bit like crap. So just wanted to make sure the folks were aware of this utter amazingness. So if you've got the patience to mess with it, you know here it is. If not, then, you know, then well, I guess we'll, we'll see what kind of stuff people come up with. Uh, I'm not sure whether we'll see, um, I, I'm sure we'll see more advanced stuff down the road, like, as, as, uh, as modding becomes a little bit more prevalent. Um, whatever, we'll find out. Let's minimize this real quick, because there's a little pop-up here. We'll see if that was the one that finally editor edited her properly. Funny note. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. Should be, yeah, there we go. No custom animations for this one. And we can change her picture to whatever. Yeah, it seems like the character editor will override the class editor. It still comes with those same things. I'm still a wizard, even though I think I made her into something else, didn't I? I don't know. Well, either way, there's playing around to do with that. Obviously, not everything's going to be perfect, but there's playing around to do with it. So, look forward to uh, seeing what kinds of stuff people come up with. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I'm going to get going now. And, um, yeah, uh, when this comes out as a video... Uh, there'll be all of the like links and stuff to where to where to go to do all this whole thing, so that should be tomorrow. 
Um, I'll also put up a little article on just different stuff I found out uh, as soon as I can on the site. So that's uh, let's see, sprite. That sprite's an angel knight. It absolutely is. Except it's one of the, it's uh, one of the dark ones. Also, hello there, Lane Cool F. Let's see, Cool Bear. Yeah, I was uh, just messing around uh, trying to see which one's what here. Because this one should have been from the character editor. Let's see if we uh, pull up the second one here. Where is she? So she should be down here. So Mullen. So she was supposed to be coming in as a sword master. It could just be... Oh, that's because that's the associated class. Okay. Do as I'm saying, not as I'm doing. You pronounce it right? Yep. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and save it, and we'll reload it. And then that'll be correct. So yeah, an associated class is just what's going to be their defaults. Character class is actually what's going to be directly their class. So I guess you could leave associated class completely alone if you wanted to. <coughs> Alright, there we go. Let's restart it real quick. Just to prove that it worked. And I kind of want to see what happens if I put her in the wrong gender class. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, so um, so yeah, if... I guess I probably should just put a link to these, huh? So do I slide that up? Yes. So Serene's Forest here. So if you've uh, if you've seen Serene's Forest before, it was probably uh, on account of Fire Emblem mods. So yeah, it turns out that uh, there was a GBA modder from back in 2017 who just sort of figured this out. Just kind of left it there for people to mess with, and uh, that's kind of about it. Couldn't tell you why it didn't go past that, but... Oh well. I mean, I guess it's kind of oh, what yeah. people wanted, really. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see if there's going to be a randomizer for this, so... Can't wait to see that. Yeah, let's pull these up here real quick. Sorry, just going through directories real quick here, trying to find my, uh, my saves and other such things. There we go. And yeah, just so you know, it seems like this right here... That's not the actual top of it. Um, it seems like right here, the ability thing, uh, the text for uh, for character editor is just overwriting it. I couldn't tell you why. It's just how it is. Yeah, Green Nirvana definitely looks happier, and I couldn't tell you why. Must be some slight difference in face. He's all happy to be made of plants. All right, let's see what happens. And yeah, she is properly a sword master now. Uh, still has her default equipment, though, so we'd have to mess around with that. So, I hope this helped. Like I said, looking forward to see what kind of stuff people come up with. And thank you guys for stopping by. Take care.